Hey guys, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at how you can create some pretty awesome backdrop and CGI environment using an HDRI file. Now, I got this idea from watching the remake of Lion King. My kids have been watching it like over and over again because they really like it. But uh, there's a scene there when Simba was by himself in the middle of nowhere. And I was like, man, you can actually do something similar like that in Unreal Engine 4 by just using an HDRI and that's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to give you this tool so maybe you can start creating some CGI short films yourselves. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and create a new template. We're going to create a blank one for now. So create next. Uh, we're going to leave everything as default and we're just going to change this to HDRI. Okay, so we are here now in Unreal Engine 4. Let's go ahead and go edit, project settings. Let's turn on ray tracing on. Yes, and I'm going to restart later for now because we still have to turn some stuff on. And we're going to go with reflection. Change this to 1024 or more if you want, but I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to do, um, let's see here, oh, RHI. So we're going to change it to direct 12x. Make sure you do this if you have ray tracing on. So close that. And then what we're going to do is turn on some plugins. So click on edit again, plugins. And then we're going to go here and built in. We're going to type HDRI, turn that on, and now we can go ahead and restart. All right, so now that we have the uh, Unreal Engine 4, it's going to compile some shaders here, but that's okay. And what we're going to do now is actually create a new level. So let's go ahead and do File, New Level, or Control N. And let's just go ahead with a default, and you should have a blank screen here. Now, what you're going to do is find... Uh, HDRI now so if you go here in the search classes just type HDRI and you're gonna see how easy it is to do this this is ridiculous look at this just drag and drop that HDR, HDRI backdrop to your scene and there you go you have this HDRI granted it looks like crap right now but we're going to go ahead and dig deeper here in a second. Now, you can shoot your own HDRI if you know how to, which is pretty easy. And that's why this technique is extremely versatile. Because technically, if you shoot your own HDRI, you can implement or composite CG elements in your HDRI environment. So let's say this is my house. I can actually start putting CG elements in front of my house or my yard, you know. So this is really versatile if you know how to shoot HDR and create HDRI environment. But for this tutorial, we are just going to download some amazing HDRI from HDRI Haven. Now, I am not affiliated with these guys. I just, this is pretty much where I go to to download HDRIs. And what I'm going to do is uh, download this one right here, Abandoned Tank Farm 003. And that's what we're going to be using. If you haven't been to this website, Go ahead and check it out and you know that's this is free to use pretty much so let's go ahead i already had it downloaded so i'll minimize that for now and what i'm going to do is just import that hdri in my unreal engine 4 and we're just going to drag and drop that to the unreal engine 4 uh content browser you're here and this is going to do its thing here it's going to take a couple of seconds now that HDRI we just downloaded is actually 16K resolution. If you're familiar, or if you're not familiar with HDRI, the more the resolution you have in your HDRI environment, the better it is. So to change it from the default setting, all you have to do is actually drag and drop that right here to the cube map, and there you go. That HDRI environment we just downloaded from HDRI Haven is now here. But obviously, again, it looks like crap, and it's because we have to do a couple of things. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and double-click the cube map, and that's going to open this little uh, window right here. And what you're going to do now is just mess around with these settings here, and then what we're going to do is in the level of detail, we're just going to go ahead and check, uh, click on no map, map maps. Yeah, I think it's map maps. I'm blind, so I can't see. So go ahead and click that, and it's going to do some calculations, and then save. And there you go. That is a lot better than what you started earlier. Now, if you want to move the projection, you can always just click on the projection center and move the scene around. So as you can see, it's not there yet. 
it still looks kind of crappy it's distorting a little bit but that's fine what we're gonna do now is just uh, try and make this image a little bit better but you can probably see where I'm going with this it, with just a couple of clicks and it's freaking amazing so let's go ahead and double click the cube map once again and then right here in the compression click this down arrow to show the advance and then we're just gonna mess around with this let's go ahead and go with 1024 and then um, it's gonna do its thing here it's gonna calculate and you kind of see uh, how amazing and crazy this HDRIS is it's a really amazing job and it's 16k resolution um, but yeah let's save it and then you're going to see that it's slightly getting better as far as the resolution goes. Now, obviously, it is a little bit skewed. And that is probably the biggest limitation of doing this is that you're only working with an image. So you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of mor morphing the, the image here because it's just a CG. Um, it's just a footage. It's just an image wrapped around in a sphere. And if I go out, out of the world... You kind of see what's happening. See that it's just, uh, it's pretty much your image, your HDRIs is applied to the sphere. But like I said, you can do some amazing stuff with this. So let's go ahead and increase that one more time. Let's uh, pretty much double it and see if my computer dies. I hope not. Right, and it's still loading there. I'm just waiting for it. Now, my computer is three years old, so if you have a better rig, you probably don't have to wait as much. So let's go ahead and click that, and you can see, whoa, now we're going somewhere. Now this is starting to look pretty decent. Okay, so we're not going to stop here. What we're going to do is actually, um, if you press G, you're going to get rid of all those icons. Uh, they get kind of annoying sometimes, although they are important. But if you want to get rid of it or hide it, just press G on your keyboard. And what we're going to do now is import a 3D or CG uh, file or element in this HDRI uh, environment so you guys have that CG compositing going on real time. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I have the, uh, the library here. I'm going to go to my library and you're going to see all my projects and stuff. If I go to Paragon Crunch, I'm going to add that to my HDRI project. Okay, and that's how you pretty much import files or CG elements from uh, the Epic Games Launcher to your project is by adding a project. If we wanted to add this ghost Asian creepy female, we can do that as well. But why would you want to do that? It's, that's really scary. So we're just going to wait for that to uh, get downloaded and uploaded to our uh, scene here all right so as you can see we have paragon crunch here now and all we're doing is finding his mesh and just dragging him there to be honest and you just drag and drop him in the middle of that hri scene and we should be building some uh shaders here in a second um and we're pretty much good to go but like i said it's just really slow so just give it a second Right, we're going to move them up just a little bit and rotate them. And now what's crazy about this is you have shadows right there already. And I mean, if you've done some CG work prior to this, you're going to understand how amazing this is. Doing everything live right here, just like that with a couple of clicks. And with some uh, power computer, you can get some pretty nice scenes here. And now you see him in the middle of this getting some nice reflections and nice lighting from the sun, which is up there. All right. And obviously, it doesn't look like the sun is, the, the shadow is kind of jacked up. But you can always change that. If you turn on G, you can rotate the sun if you want to change the lighting. You kind of see that? It's changing where that um where that shadow is going right there you see we're gonna do it right there and then we will just kind of let it drag out and now that's a little bit more accurate see you can see the arrow right here of the sun the direction and you are good to go but we're not gonna stop there because obviously we're making films inside Unreal Engine 4 so what we're gonna do now is actually create a sequencer so we can record Paragon Crunch here. Now, if you had a motion capture device, you can import some animations, but I'm pretty sure Crunch has some built-in animations with them. So what we're going to do now is just create a cinematics, add level sequence, and we're going to do this scene one. We're going to do scene one, take one. All right, save that. 
and this is gonna open up I'm gonna dock it right here if I can or maybe not actually right there I'm gonna dock it right there and I'm gonna change this to 24 frames per second and then what I'm gonna do is click crunch add to sequencer add crunch and now he is in there and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a camera a camera is right here create a new camera and that's going to go ahead and create a new camera. If you see the pilot active right here, that's just telling you that, hey, you're actually looking through your camera. So any movements you have, that's what your camera is going to be recording. We're going to click on this little unlock cinema camera actor. So you can kind of see your other viewport view. And if you click this again, you'll see this is your camera. So if you want to move around or look at crunch, you get out of that pilot view. Because if you don't, you're actually moving the camera. You see that? And if I get out of there, I'm going to go ahead and check cinematic, press G, you see that the camera just moved. So make sure if you're trying to move around him just to check him out that you get out of that pilot mode. So let's go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go ahead and go back here. And I'm just moving W, A, S, D, Q just to move him around. And then what we're going to do is just focus him. Um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can click on the camera here and then we're going to do... Oh, by the way, you can change your uh, frames here, your full frame DSLR, whatever. I stick with that for now. But if you want to focus him, I would just click in the search details, focus. You click on this little sample, click on that, and that's going to focus him right away. Now, you can animate it here, here, but I like animating it here because I like to see it right here. I like to manually actually move the lens around right here because right here sometimes when my computer is really slow it it just doesn't work as good but you can do it either way uh, also if you want to know what you're focusing or what's in focus you can click the draw uh, focus plane like this so what's uh, in pink is not in focus so you're gonna go like that right there should be good and now he should be in focus well that's awesome Okay, but he's not really moving. So what we're gonna do is, like I said, if you had like a motion capture animation, this is the place where you're gonna drag and drop that. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and use his pre, um, pre animation that uh, the Paragon people created for him. And there you go, you see him? He's doing a little bit of animation there. And honestly, that's pretty much it. <laughs> you just created a freaking CG movie using an HDRI environment. And to export this settings here, by the way, is just click on this render this movie as an image sequence. You can change it to whatever you want, but I do use um, ProRes if you want uh, by enabling the ProRes plugin by going edit plugins and go to built in, go to ProRes. Enable this and you're going to be able to export in ProRes HQ, which is freaking, that's, that's nuts. That's just bananas. So yeah, guys, this is just a really quick tutorial to get you guys started with using HDRI and imported CG environment 